Nicodale Park. Uh, there's like a little bit of a a lake there, man-made. And then there's the uh, swimming pool area, which is man-made, and they uh, drain the water every year and fill it back up again in the spring. So it's in the winter time; doesn't have any water in it at all. This place is like across the river from Medicine Hat area, and a few miles out of town, a few kilometers out of town. And they have a little bit of a, not necessarily a petting zoo, but they have animals there. Some goats. Chickens. <laughs> I threw something into the pen there and all, they all came out and wanted to feed them. And they have a lot of old machinery here that they used to use back in the day. And man, I look at this stuff and I'm thinking, wow, how did they survive back in them days? But they did it. All horse drawn. Probably, I don't know, you might have had tractors or something for a few of them. Not all, or most of them were probably uh, horse drawn uh, machinery with plows and stuff. And, yeah, it's just incredible what they used to use back then. But it all worked for them back then, day, them days. It all functioned. quite a bit of machinery here and then there's a, an old threshing machine coming up here right here this old threshing machine like I don't know who ever thought of this how to make this thing work but my god there's gears and, and uh, pulleys and all kinds of things to make this work looks like some sort of animal with a beak. <laughs> but uh, yeah, whoever thought of this, make this all fresh or eat, I guess ahead of its time back in them day. But my goodness. Quite the piece of machinery. And you can't quite see them, but I, there was some canoeists just sort of floating down the river there. And then uh, the bank on the other side was, uh, you can tell different um, colors, different uh, formations. And the van and the sun were just right to hit. More graffiti, not, well this isn't graffiti, this is just uh, more painting on the side of buildings here. And there's a park downtown that has a couple of railway engines in it. These things are uh, like falling apart. I could uh, stick my hands way up inside the, some of the wood that's just coming off of the side. I thought it was metal but it's just wood. And there's a tank. The tank was in better condition. They just they cleaned it up and painted it up. It actually looked pretty good. somebody had been looking after it. I seen it once upon a time that was birds and stuff inside and, and nesting and stuff but it looks pretty good right now. Big old tanks. And they have a poppy remembrance black here. Metal poppies and then I see there was a couple of real poppies growing. What a time to be there when they're and they have some artist in town that does uh, um, carvings with brick, puts the brick on and then carves the uh, details out of it. Medicine Hat, all hell for a basement. This is the motto. 
and the brick and tile where they used to fire um, pottery. Uh, another uh, carving in brick. And then inside, we'll go inside here is where they show what one of those um, kilns looked like where they used to put the pottery inside and fire them and them up. They uh, kept these here for the public to come in and have a look and see what they used to used to look like. All right. Well, today's a good day. We're having a downtown uh, chili cook-off thing, and uh, what you get is your you buy a bowl and a spoon for five dollars. And then you go up and down the streets tasting all the chili. Well, first bowl of chili. On to the next. <laughs> 